Hi, I'm Michael Carreira, and this is Psych Exam Review. This is a practice question video where we're going to look at 10 practice multiple choice questions related to intelligence and testing. Before we get to the questions, some quick reminders to always try to come up with your own answer first. So I'll pause after I read the question and before I show the options. And you want to try to think of your own answers. And you might want to pause the video if you need a little more time to do this. And then you can use the multiple choice answers to guide you. Hopefully, you already know what you're looking for. And make sure that you also review any other unfamiliar terms that appear in the question, in the incorrect answer choices, or in the explanation. Okay, so let's begin. A child who demonstrates exceptional ability in a specific domain at an early age is called a... Savant? Norm? Prodigy? Psychometrician? Superego? And this would be C, a prodigy. A prodigy refers to a child with normal development in most areas and exceptional talent or ability in one specific domain. Who is known for adapting Alfred Binet's test into the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale and tracking the lives of high IQ children? Charles Spearman, Louis Leon Thurstone, Louis Terman, Robert Sternberg, Howard Gardner. And this would be C, Louis Terman. Louis Terman adapted the Binet Simone test as the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale and followed the lives and accomplishments of more than 1,500 children with high IQ scores. Which of the following is a measure of the consistency of a test result over time? Construct validity, face validity, split half reliability, test retest reliability, concurrent validity. And this would be D, test retest reliability. Test retest reliability compares an individual's performance across multiple tests over time to assess consistency. Crystallized intelligence refers to the ability to think abstractly, the ability to learn new information and skills, emotional awareness and management skills, ability to reason with spatial information, Specific knowledge and skills accumulated through experience. And this would be E, specific knowledge and skills acquired through experience. Raymond Cattell proposed a distinction between crystallized intelligence, acquired knowledge and skills, and fluid intelligence, the ability to solve new problems. The concept of a G-factor refers to a single underlying factor that contributes to performance on all cognitive tasks, the difference between an individual's mental age and chronological age, the difference between an individual's IQ score and the average IQ score for their age group, the extent to which an individual is a prodigy or savant, the extent to which an individual's intelligence is influenced by emotional factors. And this would be A, a single underlying factor that contributes to performance on all cognitive tasks. Charles Spearman used factor analysis to suggest that there was one factor, G, for general intelligence, which contributed to all cognitive abilities. The Flynn effect refers to the increase in intelligence scores over time lack of consistency in intelligence scores over time, stability of intelligence scores over time, decrease in intelligence scores over time, the influence of stereotype threat on intelligence scores. And this would be A, increase in intelligence scores over time. Named after James Flynn, the Flynn effect refers to a gradual increase in average IQ scores of about three points per decade over the course of the 20th century. 
likely due to improvements in environmental factors like nutrition and education. Which of the following assesses the extent to which a test can tell us about potential future outcomes? Construct validity, factor analysis, predictive validity, concurrent validity, equivalent form reliability. And this would be C, predictive validity. Predictive validity refers to the ability of a test result, such as an IQ score, to predict future outcomes, such as educational attainment. The AP Psychology exam could best be described as a blank test. Aptitude, intelligence, speed, achievement, power. And this would be D, an achievement test. The AP Psychology exam is designed to measure specific knowledge and skills that have been previously learned, making it an achievement test, rather than an aptitude test, which is designed to assess future potential. Approximately this percentage of people will score above 115 on a standardized IQ test. One hundred percent, sixty-eight percent, fifty percent, thirty-two percent, sixteen percent. And this would be E, about sixteen percent. The average IQ in the population is 100, with a standard deviation of about 15 points. Since IQ follows a normal distribution, this means that approximately 16% of people will have a score of 115 or higher. Which theory suggests that intelligence is composed of three factors? Analytical, creative, and practical. Multiple intelligences theory, triarchic theory of intelligence, emotional intelligence theory, growth mindset theory, unholy trinity. And this would be B, triarchic theory. Robert Sternberg has proposed a triarchic theory of intelligence in which analytical, practical, and creative intelligences all contribute to a definition of intelligence based on what leads to success in life. Okay, so that's the end of these questions. I hope you did well. I also hope that it was a bit challenging. Make sure that you review any terms that were difficult or unfamiliar, and be sure to share any questions or suggestions that you have in the comments. Thanks for watching.